actually discussed general equations in the last lesson. Now we're going to deal with word equations. So exciting stuff. So what you need to know is you need to know the three acids. So we have sulfuric acid, hydrochloric and nitric. Now when you know the acids you can work out the name of the salts so it's quite easy. So we have sulfuric and that gives you sulfate. Hydrochloric gives you chloride. Nitric gives you nitrate. Any questions so far? No? Absolutely happy. And just one thing. Why do these have different endings? Eight, eight and I. Ah, now you need to look at the formula of the acids. So sulfuric acid has oxygen in it, which means the salt must end in eight. Eight means that you're not in the process of eating. It means it contains oxygen. So hydrochloric, there's no oxygen in that formula, so it's chloride. And with the nitrate, you can see there's oxygen, so it's nitrate. Easy. So it's very easy to get the endings wrong. You yes. have to get the endings right. Absolutely. And if you know the formula, it makes it so much easier. Okay. Right, moving on to the general equations. So once we've learned the general equations, it's so easy to do the word equations. So let's look at the first one. So, we have a metal plus acid gives you salt plus hydrogen, which is MASH. I remember that from the last equation. Great. Now, I'm going to choose a metal, for example, magnesium. I've selected nitric acid. So, Dr. Bourne, what would the name of the salt be? To work the salt out, I'm going to look at the acid. The acid is nitric acid. I've learned that nitric acid makes nitrate salts. So it must be a nitrate, but I need the beginning bit of the name of the salt, which is the metal. So I've got magnesium here, so it must be magnesium nitrate. Fabulous. We're doing really well here, and I think we've got three more to go. Now, the next general equation was your base plus acid. Which is water and salt, which is ores. Well done. I'm so glad you remembered. Mm -hmm. Now, the base we're using copper two oxide. The acid is sulfuric. So, what would the name of the salt be, Dr. Bourne? Look at the acid. It's sulfuric acid. We learn that sulfuric makes a sulfate. So, I know it's some sort of sulfate salt. What's the metal that goes first? It's the copper two from the copper two oxide, so it must be copper two sulfate. Well done, well done. There's only one question. I'm a little, I want to ask you because I'm a little bit confused. What does the Roman numeral two mean? I mean, why does it need this two? Because that tells you the charge on the copper, because some coppers have a different charge. So we have to write down the charge on the copper. So it's copper 2 oxide, so it must be copper 2 sulfate. Oh. And if you don't write the 2 there, that's not a good answer. Perfect. So now we know why. Next equation is your alkali... Ah, oh, no, we've forgotten something. Mm? What was the first letter of that word equation? B. B. Base for acid. I mean, B, a. Base, B for base. I'm having trouble here. Acid, water, salt. So it is... Bores. Well done. I, I think we did that one. Want. Did we? Yeah, were you sure? Yes, quite right, sure. Moving on quickly. Right. I just wanted to check that you'd remember I'm that. with you there. Right, moving on. Um, we've got alkaline plus acid plus water to give you water plus salt. So, we're going to use... Yes, great. Thank now, you. I remember you did that. Yes, yes. So, we have sodium hydroxide. We've mm -hmm. chosen hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the water. What's the name of the salt? Easy. Chloride salt, because I've got hydrochloric acid. Got my metal from the sodium hydroxide. So, sodium chloride. Got this. Fabulous. You have sussed it out. Okay. Finally, we're going on to the last general equation, which oh. is... Perfect. <laughs> I remember that very fondly. Thank you. So, we are using calcium carbonate. We're going to use nitric acid. So, what's the name of the salt, Dr. Bone? Right. Easy. Nitric acid, nitrate, calcium carbonate, 
Take the calcium. It's calcium nitrate. Perfect. You're doing well. But we mustn't forget, is that right, the other two things, or one thing, whichever one it is, water and carbon dioxide. This one's just water. Very important to put those in as well. Very important. Mm. And as we've said, the general equations are fabulous. We've learned them. Now we've sussed out the word equations, so it is easy peasy, peasy lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy.